lives. Entrepreneurship is often viewed as a path less traveled. However, this path inspires innovation, creativity, and success. Brandon, Manitoba is home to 50,000 people. In the heart of our city lies Brandon University, which educates 1,900 full-time students and is the home of Sife Brandon. We have embraced the entrepreneurial path, creating projects that educate, empower, and foster successful business environments. Join us on our entrepreneurial journey, exploring the path less traveled. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Sife Brandon, we are honored to participate in this year's TD Financial Group Regional Entrepreneurship Challenge. My name is Candace Clays. My name is Kim Orzaghi, and I'd also like to introduce our technician, Monique Pantel, and Jonathan Funk, who will be joining us for questions and answers. We represent Sife Brandon. Sife Brandon has been in operation for eight years, and in recent years has seen tremendous growth. In the last four years, we've experienced an amazing transformation, growing from 12 members and a modest budget of $6,000 to 32 members and a current budget of $96,000. We have achieved this success through three key sustainability initiatives. We offer a mentorship program that partners a senior project manager with a junior member to ensure a strong transfer of knowledge and sustainability of our projects. All of our resources and contact information are uploaded onto the ACE portal to provide members 24-7 access to important information. We hold quarterly meetings with our business advisory board, which consists of distinguished members of our community. Our business advisory board offers invaluable advice, experience, resources, and ensures that our team is held accountable. Today we'll take you down a pathway where self-realization is born, inspiration is created, and prosperity flourishes. Join us as we take the path less traveled. Small businesses represent 90% of Brandon's economy. Roughly 1 in 34 Brandonites owns and operates a small business. Unfortunately, Industry Canada reports that only 48% survive after the first three years. This is a large issue as small businesses are the foundation of Brandon's economy. Three years ago, Site Brand identified that small businesses are in desperate need of guidance and entrepreneurial education to help them succeed. To provide these guidance, we create the Small Business Consulting Program. At Scythe Brandon, we take a very holistic approach where everything matters and all aspects are considered. In order to do this, we address three key factors that can influence any business. These are economic, social, and environmental. All three factors represent the stages of an entrepreneur's journey through the path less traveled. Whether they're struggling to generate profit, the pressures of running one's own business, or trying to reduce their business's carbon footprint, we at Scythe Brandon ensure that our plan involves all of these three factors. This year's Small Business Consulting Program has had two major changes to our approach. We developed a new partnership with the Rural Economic Development Initiative Program, providing resources and connections for entrepreneurs. And through a partnership with Patterson & Patterson LLP, we established legal contracts ensuring the commitment of participants. This year, we decided to work with Brittany Burr, a strong, entrepreneurial, spirited woman. Brittany is the current operator, but not yet owner of Roseanne's Nail Salon. She's just been offered an amazing opportunity to take ownership and lead this small business into the future. Though she was confident in her ability as an esthetician, Brittany knew she did not have the background needed to become an entrepreneur and jumped at the opportunity to work with our small business consulting program. After initially meeting with Brittany, we, just, we taught her and identified key skills that she would need to learn as an entrepreneur. We developed a strategy that would teach her these skills over a five month period. We began by doing a valuation of the business to determine whether Brittany should purchase Roseanne's nail salon. We were working with her to implement information systems for her customer relationship management, supply chain management, and accounting processes. Roseanne's current marketing strategy involves a print media and semi-annual local magazine. Working with Brittany, we are identifying her target markets and expanding into social media marketing. Currently, she's the sole esthetician in the business, but believes there's enough demand to have two additional employees, so she can then focus on running her business. We are working with Brittany to create job descriptions to attract new employees. Finally, we are teaching her about accounting principles so that she can understand financial statements. This will allow her to continually measure and manage her business. We are then going to combine all she has learned and develop a business plan that will be used to provide direction and acquire financing to purchase her business allowing Brittany to achieve her dream of becoming an entrepreneur. This is just one example of how our program has created entrepreneurs. Within the past years of operation, we've helped two others increasing the quality of life and standard of living of our clients. Full evaluation. Empowering 
young entrepreneur. Creating one new business. Through our small business consulting program, we ensure the sustainability of small businesses in Brandon and lead three entrepreneurs down the path less traveled. Agriculture is an economy strengthening industry in Manitoba and particularly the West Bend area. Staff Canada reports that agriculture is responsible for $4.1 billion of revenue in Manitoba alone. Unfortunately, there's an aging demographic of farmers, meaning that many agriculture leaders will soon be leaving this crucial industry. Unlike other industries, agriculture lacks the programs needed to introduce young people to this career path. The Manitoba school system offers an agriculture program limited to those students who already live in the rural areas. The dreams of young people often include occupations of doctors and lawyers. Agriculture is not considered an option. At Scythe Brandon, we have identified this opportunity, an opportunity within our community to educate today's youth on this industry and introduce agriculture as a viable career option. We created the Agribusiness Competition. The Agribusiness Competition is in its fourth year of operation, targeting grade 12 students in the West Man area. Students are required to create a business plan focusing on agriculture. Plans are then judged by sponsors and site members with the top three plans awarded scholarship funds. Site Brandon members go into the schools and teach environmental and business fundamentals to grade 12 students over the course of six days. The first day is spent introducing agriculture and entrepreneurship to the students. We provide a booklet guiding them through the stages of developing a business plan. The following five days cover topics such as company summaries, marketing strategies, and financial projections. We are providing students with knowledge, empowering them to become entrepreneurial in the career path they choose. One student's plan includes a butcher shop with products only being purchased from local farmers. Here's what students from Crocus Plains High School to say about their experience in the agribusiness competition. I am in grade 10. Um, this is my second year doing the site agribusiness. I've learned lots from it. I've learned how to create a great business plan, and I'm excited to put this towards my future. Last year, we visited three schools, reaching 79 students and developing 24 business plans. This year, we visited four schools, reaching out to over 100 students, helping them to develop their professional plans. At the end of each year, we meet with teachers and sponsors of the program to receive feedback, ensuring the sustainability of the agribusiness competition for future years. This year, we took the agribusiness competition a step further, and in collaboration with the Dean of Education and the principals in the area, we are in the process of creating a grade 12 agribusiness curriculum. The competition will be incorporated into the curriculum to provide students the opportunity for their plans to compete on a provincial level and receive feedback. Implementation of the pilot class is scheduled to take place in January of 2012. Over 100 students. 35 business plans. One brand new curriculum. Through the agribusiness competition, we are creating awareness for one of Manitoba's most important industries, helping students take that first step down the path less traveled. These projects are just two examples of our programs that develop the entrepreneurial spirit throughout Manitoba. We believe in the power of entrepreneurship and the amazing burst of vitality it can bring to our community. Through our programs, we are inspiring potential entrepreneurs while guiding them down the path less traveled.